Hello everyone and welcome back to No Man's Land. So just quickly for the last couple of hours what I've been doing is grabbing the, the um grabbing the class axion tractor I've put well I've done some grass bells this morning so now I've put yep yeah, I've put the baler back in to the shed I want to go in there So yeah, so bio is back in the shed. Now you might remember I bought a round baler. What I realised was there's a wrapper on the back of it. And I did a colour pass and made side spells for it. Right, it's not what I'm after. So I've now went and got the John Deere baler. Bought that. And yes, it does square, square, square bales. Now my reason behind that is soon we are going to need to do still not doing what I wanted to do let me just jump out and check something nope still not changing it right what is that Is that not allowing me? Oh, there you go. Now it is. Right, now we're on swath mode. Don't reverse into the bail. Never looks good. So yeah, now we're in swath mode, we now can make some hay bales. So that's the plan. So what I'm basically trying to do is get ready for sheep. So... Yeah, just getting ready for sheep really. So for sheep you need grass and hay. I don't know if you need both. Or just one or the other. So I thought, you know what? I'd do a run of both. Got enough storage place for them. If we need to, we can always. There you go, that's already turned to hay. Or well, dried grass, should I say. So that's already looking positive. So yeah, so today's plan is apart from doing this, just get some get a pen down, put some sheep down. Um, get some sheep in. So we've got fifty two thousand pound to play with. Sheep pen is quite cheap. Can't remember exactly how much. But yeah, I've also found the problem with the animal pen, it was a mod installed that um, I think it was a factory's placeable item that I had installed for something else completely forgot about it so I installed that and now it works so yep yeah, it works completely so this is good this is already starting to turn so one quick ted of this should do what I need to do but yeah you can see how many square pails I've done so what I'm just going to do is run this up to the end and that should then be enough silage not silage should be enough grass then to do it the advantage with sheep you don't need much for all the other animals you need high seeds sort of cereal like oats wheat barley and stuff like that to make work so at least with this you don't so that's quite nice so right and I'll probably leave the hay out overnight and then the next day I'll give it a quick ted 
about the edge of the map. So turn that off, fold that. Let's get this back in the shed. Yeah, so you'll see a couple of um, changes I've made to the shed. So I've um, added a bit more mud down. So I've re really sort of textured it a little bit. And then. So I've added a few more textures in. I might actually add a road through here at some point. So I added two bell sheds and another storage shed and then just re tarmac this down a little bit. So let's put these back in the shed. Quickly run up to the shop and then pick up. I might pick up the bells in the minute we need. So let's just me run this back in the shed quickly. Yep. Uh, made the wrong button. That's better. Right. This tractor. Now, have I got a pressure washer? Did I get a pressure washer? Oh, where am I? Back. So yeah, that's the one we got, the 690. If not... No, we didn't, okay. Let's see where it is then, shall we? Because I thought I had... Um, I thought it was under miscellaneous. Try it under there. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Might have to go grab a pressure washer in a bit. Um, oh no, it's under um, Miss Gillane. There you go. Got it in the end. Right, let's see. Um, there you go, 2500. So what I was thinking is one of them. trees in the way I can't see and let me just rotate it around so on the pallets it can be moved and then I'll go over I'm gonna give this a wash first thing I want to do is give this a wash right yeah we're getting there so that wind let's give this a wash it definitely needs it. Yeah, I do like this track of the class actually in nine sixty. Done. If I'm fine with the um, there is the boom. So, as bell, we now can see. Right, what I'm going to quickly do is put a small little road. See, because we got it from here. There is one going that way. Right, I'm going to head up to the shop, pick this up, and. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Right. Let's have a go. I can't remember what the controls are on this. I thought it was the right ones, but it wasn't. So let me just have a quick refresher. Operating position, transport position. So it's on the square. Okay. So I think, yeah. I think some of this may just turn high as it is. I probably could have just left it, but I didn't want to. So, let's see what the drawing potential is. So, I've gone with this one mainly because, in theory, unlike the rest, it auto unloads as an actual stack. I'm 
not really sure how many of them do that. And I like this because this is sort of more realistic. I think what I'll end up doing for the big fields when I've got a lot of... Have a look, see how much. I'll have a look at it, see how much. Um, six. See how much prices are, and see if we can make any money. But coming in the summer, we can't really make much money. Did not want to do that. Might need to get a telehandler. I'll be right back. As I said, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. I'm just going to quickly whiz this over into the yard. It's telly and the mic in handy. Apart from I need a bell spike. I might have a go at doing something really stupid. Putting a bale in here. Hmm. I'll be up grass in there. I'll never pick a bale up. I'm just going to park this over in the store. And I'll worry about getting a bale spike for in a bit. Yeah, I was thinking about money. We've got £41,000 left. There are a couple of ways of making money um, around because you can. Can't get this one up without doing anything. You can buy stuff um, that, like the government, not the government, but you know, like the. <laughs> Local council, the area gives you so you can produce um, your own water, and, and it generates sort of useful. I think that's everything. No, it's got more down there. So it generates stuff that's useful. So, yep, there's that as an option. I'm thinking I might need a bell spike. I'm also thinking if these run, if I can run a front load on one of these, I'll run up to the workshop in a bit so if I can run a front loader on this. See so if I can run a front loader on this. Van. Still no good at driving. Right, let's try take two. I can't see what the edge of the wall is. That's actually gone better than I thought. Right, let me just pan out. I'm actually quite pleased with my reversing skills there, right. Let's work out how to unload this thing, shall we? Because I'm hoping. Great bells eight. I'm missing one. Unload bales. And they should. without hitting that roof so it does just about just about works so unload bells here lower loading platform 
I like the way it pushes it back. Yeah, so possibly need a taller barn. Um, yeah, it's not a bad idea. Well, I didn't plan, but hasn't quite worked out fit right. Let's see if I can run. Let's see if I can run a telehandle uh, thing off that. Nope. Should come up in that description. Right, okay. So it's a telehandler. So I'm just going to leave that there for a minute. Go on here. Um, miscellaneous and then this is what I was going to show you I'd come if it's under here or under the other one I think the straw barn is spinning is selling places they got water mill £17,000 so yeah Then radio tower. It's forty thousand. Let's see how much. See your solar panels. Hundred sixty-five. So I'm thinking also chucking a solar, but they're quite expensive for a solar panel. So what I was thinking is the water mill. Because I was thinking the water mill. You could end up putting a couple in the middle of all these trees there. These trees are staying. So put one in there. And then what mode am I on? And that in theory should be yeah, normal. So you got normal using hard so I think for that. See all your tools, all your grain storages. Sheds then it should be halfway down notice. There you go. 500 per hour. Which isn't bad. So, right, chicken pens. Not chicken pens, you know what I mean. Uh, down here. Even cheap one, six and a half. 80, 110. So, I was thinking about putting it around the back here. But there's no way that fits. That collides with an object, collides with an object. An object that collides with. Um, so, yeah. It's just where. So, I don't own any of that. You could. But what I was thinking is around where the bale storage yard is. So around here somewhere. So we don't own any, any of that band. As far as we go that way. So what I'm thinking. How does that collide with an object? I haven't got a clue what this game sometimes. So I'm thinking in here somewhere. I don't know what that's colliding with. It's colliding with the road. So what I'm thinking is in here. Is that? Um, right, let's head down in here. I've lost where I am. Um, right, let me just start this. I've got an idea. So 
I'm going to keep hold as we park it up in the yard, but I'm going to try something. This may or may not work. I thought it was quite flat. That's my... Maybe you need the sheep first. Maybe you need the sheep first. So let me have a look. See, what, let me see. So, um, that's water. That's probably a spawn point. This, I'm guessing, is the access in and out. That's access. Okay, so you can close them in. Okay. Water. Sometimes you get information about them, see. So they get L3 animal dialogue. So sheep are quite cheap. So I was just thinking of getting a few right. Let me jump in there, turn that off. I'm just gonna quickly run up to the shop and I'll see you guys up at the shop. I was walking out one evening late. The moon was rising high Headed for the river's side Around this first So, decided mainly to go for the fast Not fast maturing, the ones that produce a lot of wool That's what I decided to do So, interested to see how much food they use And I think, yeah, start with sheep Then go to pigs That's my plan so, you see, let me get rid of that. So I've got a plan with this baler. So I'm probably doing it as run down with a tether. So let me spin this around. See when this decides to move. So I decided to go for So I went for one one, two, three, I think was it so we got ten in total. So I went for seven seven of these Suffolks. Um due to the fact that they produce a lot of wool so that one doesn't produce wool but it's good makers so I'm hoping them to a medium wool makers so I'm hoping this is going to produce a ton of wool there you go they are happy in their pen so my plan is to come turn that off I'll do that in a minute so I'm hoping and it's not <laughs> okay right plan B got me telehandler open animal dialogue so the animal dialogue basically ah they have taken it okay good 11,000 so they don't use much so 
so that's right so what we've got with that one pen yeah that lasts us a little while so water so yeah I'll leave that on the back of there for a minute so yeah they only take a thousand liters of food so yeah that will t <laughs> that should last us a while actually There you go, see I'm now reversing it, okay. Right, detach that. Go park this up in here. I'm not gonna buy any more. So turn that off. Um least items stuff at least moment I'm going to get that as water I'm gonna return that I'm gonna return that and return that and what I'm gonna do is go and grab some water so Let's go and grab some water and then we need a tether. And I think that may be it for today's episode. Yeah, Phil's doing really well. They're, they're pretty much, you see it across the back, they're pretty much um, fully fertilised. Oh well, mostly fertilised. Um, I could actually try putting a pond in there at some point. I might try that because I've got one at the back. I might try putting one next to the yard here as well. Might give that a go in a second to see how difficult it is to put it in. Still herbicide inside it. Let's see if I can unload in here. Just unload this out of here, and then while that's doing that, on here, see if I can just make know exactly what I want. Because you've got these trees of woodlands. So, what I was thinking is very, very small one in here, right about there. So, let's lower that. There you go, found water. Problem is, there you go, bang water. Right, I'm hoping now that is big enough. Yeah, so it's just literally now just doing a bit more modifying to make this a bit more accessible. It's not going overboard right I think a little bit more right how do I um right um I want to flatten there you go and then see how that slope in the ground I might have messed up so easy to mess up on there but yep right and then
and then that just smooths it all out so in theory you should be able to get a trailer in here That'll look nicer. Everything's going really, really well. I'm really, really pleased. It all looks the same in a minute. Apart from that one there. Yeah, see, all cereal crops look the same. Right, let's see if this works. Now I've gone to the wrong place. through the trees come on I don't know sometimes it works I thought it worked with water um I thought that worked with water yeah um give me a second A little bit more mod landscaping. Come on. Um. Right, hold on. Just double check. Let me just double check this. Yeah, it can do water. Don't know why it's struggling to fill. There you go. Had to be immersed completely. fix that problem later actually I might do it now quickly when I've got two minutes right um, basically want to fan this up train right I think This is the thing, it's all about just getting it perfect. Right. Let's modify that till it stops. Same with this entrance here. I'll do for a minute. That's just enough just to um bump it down. Right. Twenty five thousand litres of water. They shouldn't be going through that in a hurry. Because I don't think their water trough's that big. Let's get this water off filled up. So yeah, hope you're enjoying this series. Remember to always like and subscribe. Um, I have started recording a multiplayer. There will be a time lapse just because it's easier at the minute. Um, and Try going back in.
I think I didn't take too much at all. So, do that. And then when you go on here, there you go. So they use 404 litres and 1,000 litres of grass, and they're using roughly 11,000 a year. So, they can use grass either at grass or hay. So I think in honesty, 11,000 litres, definitely going to get some more animals, I think, because we got not that many in there at the minute. Um, and I think, off the top of my head, if I have a look, if I get back, um, where am I? Owned items. Sheep. Sheep pen is right there. Sheep pasture 80. They can handle. So I think as we get more money, so I think the rule is every time we sell a pallet of wool, we then we then um yeah every time we sell a pallet of wool buy a couple of sheep right so wool prices pardon me uh general distribution is there so when we get to the shop I have a quick look at that um right wrong one <laughs> I keep pressing the wrong button uh Right, let me just turn this corner. Um, let me just turn the hell window off again. Yeah, I'm loving No Man's Land. There's so much land that you can do stuff with. Right. Wood chips. Wool. So the price of wool. Just park up here for a minute. So the price of wool does fluctuate. So, yeah, it does drop quite a lot. Massive increase in the start of spring. Um, water's, water's always the same price. TMR, though, total mixed ration, it sort of stays the same. 76. Shaft. See, wood chips massive fluctuation um because i'm thinking definitely doing, doing a lot of wood chips through the winter see silage is not worth it unless you've got a biogas plant diesel diesel fertilizer manure see manure yeah pig food believe it or not thousand eight for pig food lime herbicide hey here we go bells right hey again it's a massive demand on the second day of spring, these products have got um, one to, um, nine days on, so a massive increase. Spring, spring, um, hay and straw. So, hay is about 103 on average. Straws 74, so hay's not bad. Because if you look at silage, so silage is worth doing. And I was, I'm an iron with total mixed ration at the minute, but I might put a dedicated cell point in for that. Um, where are we? Animals, different things. So, yeah, it's just interesting. Um, there's grass on it. We buy the oats, corn, potatoes, you can eat seeds. Eggs fluctuates massively as well. Wool milk. See, milk's not bad. Dice of milk. See, grass is not worth selling. Grass is not worth selling. So, I think what I'd do if I get grass, I'll turn it into silage. If I'm honest with you. But again, um, right, Ted. Thirty meter tedder, at least that. So yeah, just different things you can do. Right. 
because if I go on here, this is my plan. So you got these BGAs, which I will put in. So these BGAs that I was going to put them in. You've also got multi selling station where you literally can sell everything. See, straw selling barn is what I was thinking of chucking in. So there's a few different things. But I was going to basically just see how much Z Spinnery and Straw Barn from AG Tech. So there's a few different sell points you can put in. Got one of them already. So the price at the moment. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Is that milk? I mean the price of milk's going up one thousand yeah, it's milk. So these are all your seeds. Um That's what I said, you just sell it, so what I was gonna do is mainly just store it. Um, is that wool? No, that's cotton. Wool's there. So, I mean, wool, wool at the Ville Shop Grains is 1,317 per 1,000 litres. Which ain't bad. Get a couple of sheep for that. Um, yeah, TMR 70. So, there's a few, like, different options you can go. I'll get this tethered. Turn it to high. And I think, to be honest, what we've got will last us a while. I've gone with sheep because they're the easiest, but I said next thing I want to do is pigs. But it's just trying to make a profit. So to be honest, there's not much that we'll need doing. And yeah, with this, I'll basically um, run it. And then, when I reckon I've got enough to make a video, and I'll release. So I will definitely keep... So I'll definitely keep going. Is that tedding? Now it is. That's better. See how it's turned over. So I think that's grass. Because I think hay. Top of my head, hay is um a lot lighter so that's so this is like wet grass dry grass and then it'll get a hay so what I'm thinking is I'll probably skip halfway through so the maintenance of sheep and stuff I'll probably do so you I might end up getting to early summer before I do another recording There's literally no point doing that. And it's just a case just leaving it. Hopefully in the next couple of game days. I'll be ready. So, yep, yeah. that's that, half three, they're fed, that's been tethered, so that will go 
So I think for a moment that's everything done. Little bits here and there I've missed, I'll just pick up the dross, it's fine. Um let me just quickly get this. So I think yeah, we got way, way too much. So we're going to just put this in the shed over here for a minute. If I can reverse again. Let's go first person views is easier. Right. So, I think this calls for a so yeah, this basically calls for an early day. So what I'll do? Turn that off. And I'll see you guys. in the morning. So welcome back. It still hasn't turned just yet. Um, it's still very much um, lightish colour. So that's still grass. Oh, I've got a pallet of wool. So how much is that? I mean, just knows that. 71 litres of wool is what I've got. <laughs> so hopefully... So what I'm actually going to do is put the trailer the other way around. So I can't for the life of me get on it. The problem is, is where everything's positioned. I can't actually get the right. Let me just try something. Is that too heavy for me to move it? Is. That right, plan B. Nope. Why is that not letting me? And it's funny, I managed to hook out yesterday quite easy. There's no more places. Um, I don't understand this. It 
Okay, that might explain it. See where the um So what I'm trying to do is reset that wheel. So anything I have about dolly trailers. So what I'm trying to do is spin the dolly round. So let's just try a full speed. I'm going to whack it at full speed. I'm hoping to do is be able to nudge it, turn it around, come in the other way, then unload it the other way, and then I shouldn't have this problem. There's the second pallet wheel just turned up. The problem is this dolly is something I've to do manually. Oh, I'm going to put the camera off and then get back to you when I've done this. Well, that was finally done. Oh, wow, that was a pain. Right, let's just run these back. See how much wool we've picked up. 77 litres of wool. So, yeah, that ain't bad. What I'm basically going to do is run the class I'm going to run the class grab the class, I'm going to run the class run the class up to the top here because with that windmill we should get a lot of money and I think with the way we're doing yeah 77 litres at the minute um, got enough water enough food and stuff so yeah and then we'll just eventually I'll sell that and just get a bigger rum where am I going just drive around the bushes at the minute What's up there? <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, so it's interesting health at the moment. 78%. So they produce they're producing wool, which is great. So we can have a turn of 80 in there, which I'm probably gonna do. A lot of food to get through as well. A lot of water. 
So, I'm just going to pause here. Turn that off. And then I just want to just check something. Animal pens. So we have got... This water pump for five thousand pound. So I'm probably going to end up putting that in. We had that one for twenty one. That one I prefer because you've got. So I might end up putting that one in when I've got enough money. But that's one I eventually want. Eighty five thousand pound large sheep pasture. The one I want in the end. Right. So, so yeah, so you got them four. Dorset Merlot, so, so Dorset, so that's modest wool production. Have I got any Dorset in there? No. So Dorset, do you got Dorset wool production? Couple of Merlots. Let's grab. Confirm. So that now pushes up to 15,000. Need some more water. So that now pushes it out of. Yeah. So there you go. So, 14 in the sheep pasture. Selfix, Murnos, Draper. Just gonna run up, and then I think that's about this episode complete and done. No Dorsets. Selfhook. No, uh, no. I think we've got some coming in a bit. Right. And this is where I'm going to leave it. With the sheep. Thank you for watching. And remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment.